What's up, fuckers? This is AFT Ranger with this week's AFT News Stories. The state of Kansas is poised to ban the use of welfare funds for frivolous activities and items such as body piercings, psychic readings, tobacco products, strip clubs, cruise ship vacations, and sexually themed massage services. In a related story, AFT's Jungle Recon has filed a class action lawsuit against the state of Kansas for quote unquote, being a total fucking buzzkill and harshing my hey let's get naked and party vibe. Former Secretary of State and current least popular politician ever when it comes to military voters or anyone with a pulse, Hillary Clinton announced that she will in fact be running for president in 2016. She however neglected to mention the fact that she doesn't have a snowball's chance of winning because even the facially pierced and white dreadlocked hippies who work at Whole Foods and Trader Joe's are sick of her, her pantsuits, and her miscellaneous bullshit at this point. In other super annoying people news, singer slash rapper slash human butthole on legs, Kanye West threw himself into a lake during a concert in Armenia last week. Unfortunately, the lake was not filled with ravenous piranhas and or sharks and or battery acid, so Kanye survived the ordeal unscathed. Total bummer. And worldwide, oh shit, we're all gonna die news, the United States has filed a formal complaint after Russia intercepted one of our spy planes last week over the Baltic in an unsafe and unprofessional manner. If you ask me, formal complaints like this are for fucking pussies. What we really need to do is get Tom Cruise to stop dicking around with that Scientology bullshit and climb his tiny little midget ass back into the seat of that F-14 Tomcat and get down to a little inverted cockpit middle fingering. It would almost make up for at least 14% of all the retarded and moronic bullshit he's pulled since Top Gun was in theaters. In other crazy countries we only tolerate because they have the bomb news, US intelligence has confirmed that North Korea most likely has perfected a mobile intercontinental ballistic missile system that could deliver a nuclear warhead to the west coast of America. This sounds incredibly terrifying until you take into account that North Korean missiles have a history of being about as accurate as AFT Marine's urine stream after several dozen pictures of Jaegernog at our annual Christmas party. If North Korea ever does fire on the US, they're just as likely to hit a pod of humpback whales off Catalina Island or obliterate downtown Tijuana, Mexico. And now in today's most important news segment, Ranger News, two senior NCOs from the Airborne and Ranger Training Brigade claimed the title of Best Ranger this past weekend at the Best Ranger 2015 competition. Congratulations to Sergeants First Class Jeremy Lemma and Timothy Briggs. You two fine gentlemen exemplify all that is good, honorable, and badass in the warrior class. And you're both so goddamn American, you give bald eagles hard-ons and are the reason the Statue of Liberty prefers to go penniless under that dress. That's the FT News for today. Problem solved, problem staying solved. Rangers lead the way. And also, this hard charger from the 82nd Airborne jumped out of a plane with his Japanese fighting fish in tow just because he could. America, USA, number one, what are you going to do with the rest of your week? <laughs> <laughs>